Someone said I voted for Trump. Yeah, okay. Everyone else is like, get him. Comedian Lucas Zelnick found a member of MAGA in the audience, and things are about to take a twist. What's your name, sir? Justice. <laughs> is that your name, or was that like an alt-right comment? I mean, I'm obviously liberal. I'm a Jew from New York. It's, you know, I'm who you voted to make sure it doesn't have power again, and uh, <laughs> it's not going to happen. This is a brutal yet true comment from Zelnick given who Trump surrounds himself with and the voters he attracts. Nuclear war is not like a conventional war. One bomb can wipe out quite a lot of, a lot of area and people. And, and people are just sl throwing that word around like it's nothing. A little bit of a Freudian slip there. David Duke is one of Donald Trump's biggest and least welcomed fans in Louisiana. Duke is barely getting 5% in the polls, but it was enough to get him on a debate stage and voices admiration for Donald Trump. I will be Donald Trump's most loyal advocate to make sure his nominees go to the Supreme Court. We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump, because he said he's going to take our country back. Wherever you land politically, denouncing white supremacy should be the easiest thing to do, especially given the optics of having a former Triple K leader and other white supremacist losers endorsing you. But if you're Donald Trump... You also had people that were very fine people on both sides you had people in that group excuse me excuse me i saw the same pictures as you did you had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of to them a very very important statue and the renaming of a park from robert e lee to another name i think there's blame on both sides you look at you look at both sides I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. This rhetoric and signaling is why Trump's persona and policies attract so many of the worst people in our country. And comedian Yamanika Saunders met one of them face to face. I was so happy when he was president. Because I had to, you know, I stopped doing comedy because he was doing it. <laughs> That's why we can't unify. He right, I just said. Thank God he was president. No other country f with us. Yeah! Yeah! That's because they felt sorry for us. <laughs> he looked like he go to 7-Eleven to get groceries. I can't for him. Make America great again. I said it. <laughs> perfect setup, perfect execution. And to top it off, a brilliant, subtle reference to the black experience in our white supremacist country. Did you just say go back to the therapist? Yeah. What makes you think I left them? <laughs> How about you get a therapist and tell them you can't shut the f up in a comedy show? <laughs> Comedian Natalie Accor also knows how to handle a heckler interrupting her set. You know what I should have said? That would have been better. You should have been like, go back to where you came from. That would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> the audacity. I can't tell you who's in therapy is your kids for sure. <laughs> Whether it be the audacity or sheer entitlement, you should never go after the person with the mic. You'll lose even in scary incidents like this. I can just tell by your jokes you voted for Biden. Why are we going All right. I can tell by the fact that you're still talking when nobody wants you to that you voted for Trump. <laughs> Thankfully, Ariel Elias was unharmed, and she finished the beer off like a champ. But this short clip is a microcosm of how broken Trump supporters' brains are. Be sure to check out all the comedians we showed at the links in the description box below. And please, if you can, go out and buy a ticket to their live shows to show your support.